All right, starting a video. Um, it is currently 91 degrees with a heat index of 101. And as you can see, my rows of my hollyhocks are not doing too well. Oh, nope, not gonna get that butterfly. The heat's getting to them. Anyway, get a little focused here. Just a view of the yard and lovely elderberry tree and just quick see that sucker's it's about seven foot now. Oh, look, there's a butterfly floating around over there. Anyway, what I'm doing is, um, oh, look, the bee. I doubt I got the bee on the thing. Um, no, hot. I can't sit out here long because the heat index is 101. And with my uh, illness, I have trouble. My body has trouble controlling its temperature. My, the body, temperature of my body. Um, but I thought I'd make a video today because I'm working on other ways to do spell work, which is with paganism and Wicca. And what it brought up was, yes, I got the butterfly. I mean, let, not letting the butterfly know I'm getting it. Um, I'm going to get a lot of those greenish butterflies. I get a lot of those greenish butterflies around here. Anyway, modern paganism is based on consumerism, which I will admit I have been a part of in my past. I started studying the craft to be a witch in paganism um, 1999 officially I studied my way out of Christianity for a couple years in the 1990s uh, worked with a, a seminary, seminary trained minister where I found out all the lies and bullshit from Christianity but what I see now that my thinking has shifted and I'm a permaculture pagan, from Earth permaculture, an Earth witch, is that modern paganism is nothing, nothing like our pagan ancestors from Europe. Um, because our pagan ancestors from Europe didn't have, they weren't as big a consumers, they didn't have a consumer based economy. And in America and in Australia where I got my witch training it is consumer based so modern paganisms are, are modern pagans are nothing like the pagan ancestors not even close unless you get into permaculture and start thinking and living like permaculture as I said in my last video I gave you the three ethics care for the earth is an ethic consumerism Instant gratification and single-use disposable items are, and it all stems from big oil and industrialization, is a reason modern humans are the most destructive and invasive species on this planet. Um, because I can, you know, um, just an example, I was thinking how, I'm trying to figure out how to manifest something that I want in my life and you know normally you would you would you would get crystals herbs do spells candles buy 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 things that are you know unless you get beeswax candles the candles are toxic they're made of oil you burn them they release toxic chemicals which is not care for the earth or care for the people or future care uh, or fair share because they're usually from China or another country where they're paid substandard wages to, to make these things. Um, so a lot of what modern pagan and Wicca books say to do, and you know, your books are basically, except for Starhawk that I found, I haven't read every book out there, are basically rehashing the same thing, just putting their own little spin on it. 
But so, how does a pagan witch manifest without this consumer stuff? Because our ancestors didn't have, they, they couldn't go to Amazon, they couldn't go to the Dollar Tree and get candles and whatever. In fact, most of their candles were lard, uh, or fat-based, from animals that they slaughtered. Um, and the only herbs they had were the wild herbs that they were around to grow, and those aren't available year-round. Granted, you can dry them and keep them longer, but, um... You know, you just, oh, I want to do a spell to manifest this, and you buy stuff. That's that's modern paganism, not nothing to do with ancient, and definitely not earth-friendly. So my first, what I'm going to do is I have, this is still a little consumerism, but I have notebooks, because I like to write things, well, I tend to think I like to write things down. That's a block I'm having to overcome. But from, from the dollar store, and I got some found some of my favorite pens and bought in bulk, so they'll last for quite a while. And I'm going to start writing, come up with a statement of what I want to manifest. And I'm going to start writing in that notebook that statement. Um, like several times a day and every day to, you know, put energy into it. And that's, um, writing it down is a way to physically manifest it because you're physically doing it. You're taking it from a thought and with your own body physically manifesting it. Now, if you wanted to use some, uh, put some essential oils, you could put it on the page or on the notebook or, or whatever. But again, you want to consume, have to buy as little as possible to do what you want. And when you do make these purchases, you keep in mind the permaculture principles. Earth care, uh, people care, and fair share. Is it toxic to the earth? Is it toxic to people? And are people paid? well enough in making it uh, now the dollar store is not the best choice but hey, I already have them so you use what you have first before you go looking uh, any you know for, for more see what you have available to use before you go buy more look at that big bee sorry I get distracted by nature um, and this wonderfulness that is my yard um So that's, I'm going to try that, just writing it. Now, I, I did the Velma script. Um, it, it, this, again, is a book to buy, but she uses your handwriting, changes your handwriting with the, the letters have a certain meaning and certain energy. You change your handwriting, you change your life. So I've already done that. I've already invested in that. I still have all that information. I'm going to use that as a way to do spell work to reduce my consumer impact. I, f I already have crystals. I've already bought crystals. I've got a shit ton of tarot decks even though I've given some away um, to other witches because they don't speak to me. <sighs> but you could use those too if you have them. But we need to reduce our consumer mindset um, and really reduce the disposable mindset. If we're going to survive as a species on this planet. And if you honor the earth as sacred. And nature as sacred. You really need to shift your thinking. So that's just one example. I'm not going to do candles. I'm going to do a notebook and a pen. And the Velma script. Um, and do that in a notebook every day. Until it um, manifests. I have finally, after all these years, found two tarot decks that I like. Uh, the Wildwood tarot deck and the Gaian tarot deck. I prefer the Wildwood tarot deck because it's more nature-oriented for personal stuff. Uh, the Gaian tarot deck would be better for how you operate with and interact with people and more of a social permaculture type mind. You don't have to buy the deck. They do have an app for each of those decks if you want to check them out. The kings, queens, and whatever never, never appealed to me. It, it never spoke to me, no matter what twist you put on it. It, it did not speak to my soul. So, um, even though I still have those tarot decks, I will probably eventually be donating more of them to another witch, which is repurpose, or, you know, in, in, instead of them having to buy them, if I have it, and don't use it or don't want it anymore, give it to them. Anyway, that's my rambling, so... I'm, uh, my thoughts that woke me up. 
and I don't know how much longer I'll be able to make videos in the yard for my page because 101 heat index is too bloody freaking hot. My heat index yesterday was 107, so our nice little reprieve in summer and rain has passed, and we are um, into the bloody hot time of summer, and they're getting hotter every year. Alright, well there's my thought for doing spell work without being a rash consumer, and I'll go into it more later on, but there's just the beginning thoughts. And lots of bees and butterflies in nature. Bye.